Hey everybody, Taz from Critical Thinking Anarchist here, and uh, we are at the penultimate section of Achromatic Blue. Um, so after this one, the what, however many pages are left on the on the final part, we're just gonna blaze through, regardless of how long it takes. Um, should be pretty close to the same amount of time. Uh, so without any further ado, when last we left, um, John and Blue were in the forest. Uh, Blue says, once you accept yourself, I believe you can make your home a different and better place. I don't know how to do that. I think I do. Can I show you, John? Uh, sure. Hold on tight. What? Uh, uh, flies away. Blue, do you see this? Indeed, John. Just you wait. Huh? Why am I sleepy? All of a sudden. Blue? Blue? <gasps> Blue! Nice color splash page. Look at that. That was beautiful. Is this color world? <laughs> wow. This isn't a dream. This is real. You see, looking at all the colors, the flowers, the trees, the leaves, the birds, the shells, the crab. <laughs> There could be dangerous animals in there. Blue has to know I am here. I could wait. I could be waiting here forever, though. What if something happened to Blue when they brought me here? There is no... There is no way I can just wait here. But I can't see Blue anywhere. Did Blue abandon me? No. Blue wouldn't do that. This forest really doesn't end. Maybe I should go back and wait. What is that? There are probably people there. Ah, I knew it. People. Our half of the crew should be back by now. I'm starting to worry. Quit your worrying. The captain said they may take a while. After... Sorry, my accents are going to get bad here. After what we've been through, can you blame me? Wow, they're colors. Wait, I'm in color too. My eyes must be a different color too. And my hair. Oh, I wish I had a mirror so I could see what I look... Who's there? Show yourself! Oh no, oh no. Who are you, boy? Could be the kid Blue told us about. They know Blue? Is that who you are? Yes. All right, then, up on your feet. So, um, you guys know Blue, right? Do you know where they are? Blue is off. Blue is off with our captain and the rest of the crew. Blue left. Why? You arrived last week and you were half asleep the whole time. We've been camped out here for a while waiting for you to wake up. Blue checked out, checked on you daily, but they had other things to do in the meantime that they couldn't ignore. A week? Oh, wait, that's right. Blue said that a day was only an hour here. Blue will be back later today, lad. Rest easy. You weren't abandoned here. I knew Blue wasn't the type, but... Still nice to hear it from someone else. Thanks. What's your name, lad? Oh, it's John. Hey, simple enough. Eh? Eh? <laughs> What's so funny? I wonder what Blue saw in you. That Blue brought you here and was willing to wait so long for you. Blue said I was... Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. Either. Blue said I was different. Different, eh? You sure do dress different. Where are you from? Earth? Hmm. Never heard of it. Are you all from here? Indeed. This is home to all of us. In fact, we don't have any name for this world other than home. I've been calling this color world if you want to use it. <laughs> An apt name, lad. Wow. It's so beautiful. If only everyone back home could see this. That bird is flying really weirdly. Wait. Blue! John! I was hoping you were okay. 
I am very sorry that I was not there when you woke up. That's okay, Blue. One of the pirates said I was asleep for a very long time. Indeed, your body needed to recover from your trip to Color World. Everyone I know who has come here has experienced it. You mean there are others from Earth here? Yes, and I want you to meet them. Uh, yes, I want to meet them. You will soon enough. How so? Blue! Word on our... Word on our captain and the island. The captain will be here by tomorrow morning. I flew on ahead to check on John. As for the island, he doesn't want to attempt a rescue. He said it's too dangerous. Someone needs someone needs to be rescued? I think I'm in agreement with the captain, mate. Um, what happened? Who needs to be rescued? Any orders from the captain? Lord, just just to be by the water in the morning. We will venture back out to sea and figure out our next step from there. Blue, can you tell me what's happening now? Do you remember the friend I was he told you I was waiting for? Yeah. Is that the person who needs rescuing? Indeed. My friend is the queen of Color World, and she is missing? I'm sorry, Blue. This makes me think of Fortuna. Hope she and Blue's friend are all right. Thanks, John. Ooh, maybe a little foreshadowing there, huh? The incident has been troublesome for the entire color world, but everyone is managing. The island that you mentioned, is that where the queen, the queen went missing? Indeed. At least you sort of know where she is. Nobody has any guesses about where Fortuna is. Do you know what happened? Partially. The queen was sailing with a bunch of pirates. During her last day of traveling, the ship passed by an island not many people venture to. The Empty Island. No one knows much about the place, only that no plants, no animals, and no people exist there. People claim that it is haunted. There is a single mountain on the island, and there is very little color there. Empty Island looks like it could very easily exist in your world, John. Haunted. She thought she was safe on the ship, but a sudden storm brewed and overturned the vessel. The Queen and the pirates on board all disappeared. Wait! But then how do you know what happened? One of the other colors told me. Green. They watched from afar. Why didn't Green help them? We colors cannot venture near the island. If we do, we disappear. That's scary! Indeed. The only reason the queen went to this island was to figure out how to cleanse it. None of her predecessors dared to set foot on the island. She was different, much like you, John. She didn't want anything to be lost. She cared for every person, animal, plant, and island. Queen sounds like a nice woman. Indeed. Have you ever seen the island? A few times. Captain Bluebeard and I went there with his crew before I came back to check on you. Oh, a real pirate captain. I wonder what he looks like. <laughs> You'll meet the captain in the morning when we set sail again. And then we're going to rescue the queen, right? I'm not sure. Everyone is scared of the island, including the pirates. We can't just leave her there. <sighs> I'm not sure what else to do, John. It really is a difficult situation. Indeed. Are you ready to go back home now? I can take you, but I must come back immediately to try and convince the captain to rescue the queen. No way. I just got here. I don't want to go back yet. I want to help the rest to rescue the queen. That is very gracious of you. Thank you. Of course. You're my friend. I want to help you. The empty island sounds scary, but going back home right now sounds scary, too. I don't want to face it alone. Ah, you are not alone, John. Thanks, Blue. Hmm. Also, have you noticed? You're in color. I did! When I saw that pirates had color, I realized I must be in color, too. I saw my hands and my clothes, and they were in color, and I'm so excited to have color! <laughs> Indeed! Now let's see if we can get you something to see your face. Wait here. Oh my gosh, I'm really going to see my face in color right now. I wonder what my colors will look like. Boing. Whoa. So what colors am I? Tell me everything. <laughs> Your eyes and hair are brown. Your skin is peach. Wow. Do you want to go outside and learn the other colors? Yes. What sort of question is that? Let's go. What colors are the stars? White and yellow. The fire is yellow, red, and orange. The feather is purple. These flowers are pink. That's aqua. That fabric is magenta. The buckle is silver. Those buttons are gold. Chartreuse. 
It's daybreak already? Wow. Day really is only an hour. Time to go, lads. Our ship is just on the horizon. Oi! Thanks for the help. No worries. Wow. A real pirate ship. Oh, I wasn't expecting this many people. Ahoy, lad! Allow me to introduce you to Captain Bluebeard. <laughs> Hello. I hear you're a friend of Blue's. Yes, sir, I am. Well then, a friend of Blue is a friend of mine. I suppose this makes you an honorary pirate now. Hoist the anchor! Time to set sail! Gather around me hearties. Mates, we have a debacle on our hands. As we all know, a storm took part of our crew and our queen. We know where they likely are, but we also know that the empty island is haunted. No one from this world has ever set foot on that island because of that. Upon scouting, we saw the remains of the ship, but no signs of life. Now we must choose. We can risk our lives for the queen and scour the island in hopes of finding her. Or we can venture back to our homeland and deliver the news to the rest of the citizens of home. Do the citizens know of the situation already? Aye, I sent letters by birds to the various kingdoms. Any aid? Nay, all know the island is cursed. Mm. No one would blame us for turning back and... Leave our queen? We shouldn't abandon our queen. She has loved the people and the creatures of this world in every way. The only reason she is in this situation is because of her desire to bring life to the empty island. We cannot repay her kindness in this manner. We don't know if she's even alive. I have faith that she is. It's not like you can set foot on the island. Mm, only us humans can. You are risking, uh, you are asking us to risk our life when we aren't even sure what we'll find. <laughs> Let's put it up to a vote. Say aye if you want to go to the island and rescue the queen. I'll do it. I'll go. Lad, I can't let you do that. You are a mere child. Maybe. But I believe in myself. We can't take the easy way out and be okay with a person disappearing. What would that solve? That's right, John. And she's Blue's friend. I lost a friend back home, too. I know how it feels, un but unlike me, you know where your friend might be. Mate, if you do this, you do it alone. Think you can manage it. I think so. And you're all right with this, Blue. I am confident in John. Then we shall set sail toward the empty island. Expect there to be expect to be there by nightfall. Maybe I am only a kid. I want to help, but if I can help, if I can't help find Fortuna, or sorry, no, it is. It's okay. I want to help Blue get her get their friend back at least. That's very brave of you, John. Thanks, but I know you feel like I feel a bit. But you know, I feel a bit like I'm thinking more like you now. But if I can't help find Fortuna, oh. I think everything will work out. I don't know why. Lando! This will work. It will. Are you ready, lad? And that is where I'm going to stop it today here. Um, like I said, this, the end will be the last pages regardless. Um, so I'm not going to show you the rest of this here. Um, kind of fun. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of a, you know, a kid pirate thing. Uh, if anything, if any of you guys know anything about JJ, it really is kind of big into the fantasy pirates stuff going on here. Um, this, is, this is, I mean, God, this is such a good, definitely a good kid story. Um, you know, if you, if you grew up with kind of even a troubled childhood, it kind of brings you back there too. Um, I'm loving it. So like I said, last, the last pages will be on the next one. So we're going to end it next week, regardless. Um, in the meantime, you know, as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. I will see you next week. Bye.